Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. I want to address a very important question that many of you guys ask many, many times. It is the most frequently asked question, and that is, why are the Japanese car companies, especially Toyota, able to consistently produce better quality cars? What is it that they do that's different from any other brands, and why are their cars always so well built? Well, is there a real secret to this? Is there something that Japanese know that no one else does? Well, it turns out the answer to that question is a very important word called andon, A-N-D-O-N, andon. Yes, it sounds like some kind of Japanese dish, but andon is a very important technique that everyone seems to know, but very few people know how to implement it properly. In the world of what we call lean manufacturing or Toyota production system, Andon is the one technique that is the least understood and the most difficult to get it right. Now, if I keep on saying Andon, 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 I'm going to get hungry because it does kind of sound like a Japanese dish, as you will see in this video. <laughs> Welcome to Cafe API. What would you like for lunch? I know I'm really, really hungry, but trying to figure out what I want for lunch. Um, what do you recommend? Uh, today's lunch special is andon. Andon? Is, mm -hmm. that, is that the one that's in here? That's right. Oh, that looks really yummy. I'm super hungry. I will have one andon for lunch, please. No problem. Is it going to take a long time? It will be very quick. All right. Thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to it. One andon, please. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, even engineers sometimes have fun. But joking aside, Ando actually kind of means light or lantern in the old days or signal to let someone know that they need help or something is not quite right. And it's a series of system or process that was designed by Toyota many years ago to control and manage mistakes and issues in the production line. In simple terms, Ando is a signal for help. So when something goes wrong in the production, let's say you found a part that doesn't quite fit into the car properly, or you're missing something, or you yourself is having some kind of a physical issue, or you're not feeling well, and you can't complete the task. It doesn't matter what the problems are. When you have a problem, you pull a cord or push the button these days to signal for help. And when you pull the cord, a light comes on, sometimes with or without sound, to let the team leader know that I'm having a problem, I can't seem to solve this on my own, someone has to come and help me with this issue. And in a very short time frame, usually in about one minute or less, they have to solve this problem. Now, here's an interesting thing that most people don't understand. Andon is widely understood by many car companies and it has been implemented at almost every car company. But the reason why it doesn't work in most companies is that they don't actually follow the true meaning and the true purpose of Andon. And the reason why is that when you pull the andon cord, you ask for help, someone comes to you, and then if you can't solve the problem because the problem is maybe more complex, then you can fix within one minute or so. Well, um, you're supposed to shut down the line. More specifically, the production line will stop automatically because the process or equipment have detected that you didn't solve the problem within this one minute time signal. So the line gets stopped and the production worker and uh, team leaders or managers have to try to solve this before letting the line move again. So the whole idea is to fix the problem so that you do not let the defects or issues carry on to the next person behind you. That way you fix everything and you manage everything effectively before the line begins to move. This is the Japanese or Toyota method in which you never ever pass the defect to the next person. The same ANDO method applies to all the production workers in the plant, whether it's a factory with 1,500 employees or 3,000 employees, same thing. Each production worker has the power and the insight and the wisdom to be able to pull the ANDO cord, and then if it doesn't get resolved, they can actually allow the line to stop. This is a commitment and dedication that Japanese car companies, especially Toyota, have made to make sure that every car is perfect and without any defect. The reason why Andon, which is not a secret sauce, is not effective in stopping defect with other car companies is because when the production workers are having a problem, they pull the Andon, they ask for help, either A, 
they don't get help, i.e. no one comes to them to help them solve the problem, or if they come and they try to solve it, perhaps they can't figure out the solution and they say, you know what, we can't solve this in this short time frame. Let it go, let the defect go, and we'll figure out at the end of the line. So many, many hours later, when the car with the defect uh, goes to the end of the whole production plant, well, it might have two or three defects already, and they haven't solved it, they haven't figured out how to solve it, and so guess what, eventually that car with those issues gets shipped out to the actual dealership and onto consumers' hands. That's how the defects get carried away. In the case of most of the Japanese car companies, and particularly Toyota, well, that never happens because Andon calls for help, but they come and solve the issues, and if they can't solve the issues, they stop the line. All the production workers in that area have to stop working, and they will continue to work on this until the problem is solved and the defect is gone or defect is eliminated. Even if that takes five minutes or 10 minutes or half an hour, they will not restart the line until they resolve the problem completely. And then when the line restarts again, well, the car is free of defect, is passed on to the next production worker, and it continues to carry all the way until end of the factory in perfection. This is one of the techniques I teach in my uh, Toyota Production System course. Uh, as you know, I come from Japan, I was born there. I used to work for a number of Japanese companies, including Toyota, and currently I teach and implement Toyota Production System or Lean Manufacturing System to many, many companies globally. And I always tell them this is one of the most important techniques they can implement, which is an Andon system or Andon cord. Let it be the trigger to call for help so that when you pull this, uh, you're supposed to then get help and fix the issue before it's passed on to the next station. Again, what's so interesting is that I have been to almost every car company in the world, in Europe, in Japan, in the US, in Asia, and, and they all have the Andon cord, Andon light, and Andon signal, but it's not being used. If they actually learn to use this, and they actually get help, and then they stop the line if they can't fix the problem, and don't let the actual defect carry on, then every car company is able to produce 100% defect free, 100% quality cars and trucks. But that's not the case, is it? So this is the one technique I really want to share with you. I know it's not easy to implement and maybe it's not even easy to understand, but it is definitely one sort of a secret weapon that Toyota uses across all of its factories uh, because while the word Andon and Andon system itself is not secret, how they manage it, how they use it, and how they stick with the true meaning of the Andon is something that's a bit of a secret recipe within Toyota family. So I hope this was helpful for you to understand one of the techniques that Toyota uses to prevent mistakes and issues from happening and to prevent defects from being passed on to us as consumers who buy them. There are actually many other techniques that Toyota uses within the world of Toyota production system, such as Kaizen, which means continuous improvement in Japanese, or Kanban, which is a way to bring materials into sequencing in a line, so you don't run out of materials, or even something like a QC circle, which stands for quality control circle, which is a way for team to work together to brainstorm ideas for implementation and to continuously improve the whole method. The QC circle, or continuous improvement teams, are readily available in Japan because almost everyone belongs to one, but outside Japan or outside Toyota family is not so well used. So there are again many, many techniques that I would love to share with you and talk about that in future. Let me know in the comments below how much you want to learn about Toyota production system or sort of the secret method or technique they use to bring the defects down and to keep the quality up. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. That'll be very helpful and I would really appreciate that so that I can continue to share with you many ideas about Toyota production system, about Toyota or anything else that might be of interest to you. Thank you again. I'm signing off for now.